Akaneni Nageshwara Rao, the 20th of September 1924 to the 22nd of January 2014, widely known as ANR, was an Indian film actor and producer, known for his works predominantly in Telugu cinema. He starred in a variety of roles in his 75-year career as a matinee idol, while becoming one of the most prominent figures in the history of Telugu cinema. He was one of the instrumental figures in moving the Telugu cinema industry from Madras to Hyderabad in the early 1960s, alongside DVS Raju. He founded Annapurna Studios in the year 1975 to provide infrastructural support to the new film industry in Hyderabad. He later started the Annapurna International School of Film and Media within Annapurna Studios in 2011. ANR is known for his path breaking works in biographical films. Rao essayed as Tamil Saint Thandaradapati Alvar in the 1954 film Vipra Narayana, as Tenali Rama in the 1956 film Tenali Ramakrishna, which received the All India Certificate of Merit for Best Feature Film, as Kalidas the Sanskrit poet of Ujjain, in the 1960 film Mahakavi Kalidasu, as 12th century century Sanskrit poet Jayadeva of Odisha in the 1961 film Bhakta Jayadeva, as Kannada sculptor Amarashilpi Jakanachari in the 1964 film Amarashilpi Jakana, as Marathi Saint Tukaram in the 1971 film Bhakta Tukaram, as Kabir in the 2006 film Sri Ramadasu, and as Valmiki in the 2009 film Sri Rama Rajam. Similarly, Rao essayed mythological figures such as Abhimanyu in Mayabazar, which was screened at the 1957 International Film Festival of India and the Indonesian Film Festival, as Lord Vishnu in Chenchu Lakshmi, as Narada in Bukalas, and as Arjuna in Sri Krishnarjuna Yudhamu. Rao is best remembered for his performances in romantic tales such as Layla Majna (1949), Anarkali (1955), Muga Manasulu (1964), Prem Nagar (1971), Premabhishekam (1981), and Megazandesham (1982), which was featured at the 9th International Film Festival of India, the 1983 Cannes Film Festival, and the Moscow Film Festival. During this time, Rao has appeared in super hits such as Ardangi (1955), Bail Ramudu (1956), Mangalaya Balam (1958), Gundama Katha (1962), Doctor Chakravarti (1964), Dharma Dada (1970), and Dusara Bulodu (1971). Rao received seven state Nandi awards and five Filmfare awards South. He is a recipient of the Dada Saheb Falk Award, the highest honorary award for achievement in Indian cinema. He was also honoured with the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award, for his contribution towards Indian cinema. Manam 2014 was the last film of ANR, who died on the 22nd of January 2014 during the film's production phase. The film was a befitting send-off and a tribute from his son, Nagarjuna. The film was screened at the 45th International Film Festival of India in the homage to ANR section on 29 November 2014. Early life and background Akaneni Nageshwara Rao was born into a poor family on 20 September 1924, the youngest of five brothers, at Ramapuram, Krishna district, Andhra Pradesh. His parents, Akaneni Venkatrutnam and Akaneni Punama, were from the farming community. His formal education was limited to primary schooling due to his parents' poor economic condition. From the paddy fields, he strode into the field of fine arts through theatre at the age of 10. He was a famous stage artiste, specialising, surprisingly, in playing female characters, because women at that time were prohibited from acting. He became a rage on the stage as a heroine in some of the famous dramas of the day, Harish Chandra, Kanakatara, Vipranarayana, Telugu Tali, Asajoti and Satyanvashanam. He became the glamour queen, and from there made a quick jump to another extreme, playing hero on screen. The turning point of his film career came when Gantasala Balaramaya, who was a prominent film producer during that time, discovered him by chance at the Vijayawada railway station and he subsequently made his debut, as a 17-year-old boy in the film Dharmapatni. <laughs> Mainstream In 1941, at the age of 17, he made his debut in the Telugu film, Dharmapatni, in which he played the role of the protagonist friend. 
Subsequently, ANR was noticed by chance at the Vijayawada railway station by film producer, Gondasala Balaramaya, who cast him as Lord Rama in his movie Sita Rama Jananam. Before that, ANR predominantly acted in theatre, frequently donning female roles, since women weren't allowed on stage at that time. From those humble beginnings, he went on to star in over 255 films, spanning Telugu, Tamil and Hindi languages. A majority of his films were both commercial and critical successes. He was a good singer, who could recite, slokas, with a flourish, and had acted in theatre when he just about ten. Also he had a way with languages. His turning point in cinema came in 1955 when he essayed A Good-Hearted Thief in Dinga Ramudu, and it was no surprise that the year 1955 alone saw seven of his movies being released. One of them was Misama with Savitri, where he portrays a lonely, unemployed young man. Akineni Nageshwara Rao played a range of characters from a charming prince to a frustrated alcoholic lover, to a valiant soldier to a holy saint, from a rich man to a pauper, from a lovelorn man to a saint to a college student to a bureaucrat, he travelled the entire gamut of emotions with aplomb. His movie, Premabhishekam is one of the biggest hits in Tollywood, with an amazing 533 days run in Hyderabad, which is still the highest run in a city for any Telugu movie. The movie, directed by Dasari Narayana Rao, is also the only Telugu film to have run for more than a year. He was the first to play a double role in Telugu films and he also played nine roles in Navratri. ANR's portrayal of the alcoholic lover in Devadasu the tragic tale of a jilted lover written by Bengal's Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay, remains a classic portrayal of the character that has been adapted onscreen several times and is one of his most memorable films. Even though many versions of the plot were filmed in many languages in Hindi with Dilip Kumar, and later with Shah Rukh Khan, critics aver that his portrayal of the alcoholic lover was by far the best. Even Dilip Kumar once famously remarked that it was ANR's performance that outshone the rest. Though he did the role of mythological figures such as Rama, Krishna and many others, his fame emerged from the man-on-the-street kind of roles that he did with remarkable excellence. His last movie, Manam, is set in various time periods, over the course of a hundred years up until 2013, and deals with the concepts of rebirth and eternal love. Manam was the last film of Akineni Nageshwara Rao, who died on of January 2014 during the film's production phase. The film was promoted as a befitting send-off and a tribute from his son, Nagarjuna. The film was released worldwide on 23 May 2014 to positive reviews from critics and was commercially successful. The film was screened at the 45th International Film Festival of India in the homage to ANR section on 29 November 2014. The film garnered the Filmfare Award for Best Film, Telugu. He is fondly called Natasamrat by his fans and some of his commercially successful films are Maya Bazaar, Samsaram, Bradaku Teruvu, Aradhana, Dinga Ramudu, Dr. Chakravarti, Ardhangi, Mangalaya Balam, Ilarikam, Shantinivasam, Belagu Nidalu, Dusara Bulodu, Barya Bartalu, Dharmadeta, Batasari and College Bulodu. Siddharamayagari Manavaralu was released in 1991, exactly 50 years after his debut, and was a huge success at the box office, despite the influx of young stars. <laughs> Death On 19 October 2013 Rao announced that he was diagnosed with colon cancer. He continued shooting for his final film Manam, two weeks after a major laparoscopic surgery, surprising many. He had often said that he wished to act till his death, and Manam proved that. His last public appearance was befittingly at the Foundation Day celebrations of Annapurna Studios on 14 January 2014. Akineni died a week later, on the 22nd of January 2014. He was cremated on 23 January 2014, at Annapurna Studios with full state honours amid a 21-gun salute. Thousands were present to pay their last respects. Literary works Apart from being a movie star, ANR was a prolific writer. Most of his books were autobiographical works, the most famous of which are Nainu na Jeevatham, the memories of his first visit to the USA, Nainu Chusina America, and a poetic rendition of his personal thoughts, A Lu, Akaneni Alashanalu. 
Other books he wrote were Manasaloni Maata and Akineni Alashanalu. Charity ANR was very active in social service. Pointing toward the sky, he once famously said, If there's a presence there, I'm sure he'll want us to perform our earthly duties well and be a good human being rather than blindly worship him. He set up the Akineni Janmabhumi Trust in order to foster development in his hometown, Ramapuram. He strove hard to realize it under the Janmabhumi program during the TDP regime. He was instrumental in the construction of the Akineni Virati Akineni Bridge, named after him, which improved his village's economy by facilitating easy connectivity. In Ramapuram, even safe drinking water was something which was unheard of until Akineni contributed to the construction of a water filtration plant. He instituted the Akineni International Foundation in 2005 to honor those who contributed to the film industry. The Annapurna International School of Film and Media, founded by his family in 2011, was set up as a non-profit entity. Rao was generous towards educational institutions since the beginning of his career. Even though he didn't have the opportunity to go to school, he understood the importance of education. He created scholarships in various state universities such as GITAM University Visage. He was the chief donor and president of the college at Gudavada, which was subsequently named after him as Akineni Nageshwara Rao College. Apart from being a life member of the Senate of Andhra University, he was also advisor to its Department of Dramatics and Theater Arts. He instituted gold medals for students who excelled in acting and direction. In 2012, he instituted the Akineni Annapurna Educational Trust in memory of his wife Annapurna. Filmography Awards and honours Civilian Honours Padma Vibhushan Padma Bhushan Padma Shri 1968 National Film Awards Dada Saheb Falk Award 1991 Filmfare Awards South Filmfare Best Film Award Telugu Sudagandalu 1968 Shared with veteran Adarthi Subha Rao Best Actor Telugu Maripurani Manishi 1973 Best Actor, Telugu, AATMA Bandhuvulu 1987. Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award, South 1988. Best Actor, Telugu, Sitharamaya Gari Manavaralu 1991. Nandi Awards Raghupathi Venkaya Award 1989. NTR National Award 1996. Nandi Award for Best Actor Dr. Chakravarthi 1964. Antastulu 1965. Sudagandalu 1967 Megasindesam 1982 Bangaru Katumbam 1994 Other State Honours Kalidasu Kostab from Madhya Pradesh State Appointed as an advisor to the State Film Development Corporation Tamil Nadu State Film Honorary Award Arignar Anna Award in 1992 books written on Anarmanishilo Manishi by Dr K V Krishnakumari Akineni Nageshwara Rao Oka Sporthi Santhakam by Sherpali Vijaya Mahanatudu Akineni by Dr. K. V. Krishnakumari Akineni Abhinaya Vedam Mahanatudu Akineni Natinchina Maruvaleni Pathralu by Rasamayi Kathanaya Kudi Katha by Mullapudi Venkatamana Living Legend Dr. Akineni by Rasamayi Akineni Sahasra Chandra Darshanam by Sripada Jyoti Prakash Akineni Kathaniyikalu by S. V. Rama Rao Akineni Chitralo Sukthulu by S. V. Rama Rao Akineni Nageshwara Rao Jeevatham Vyaktatwa Vikasam by Govindraju Chakradar Natasamrat Drive. Akineni Diary by Sheikh Ibrahim